Greetings, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from November 15th to December 15th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aries, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Aries, is the Four of Wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Tower Upright. So for you, Aries, your biggest challenge has a lot to do with the Four of Wands energy. I do strongly feel with the Four of Wands energy, this could have a lot to do with a relationship a home environment, uh, place of residence, okay? Uh, we're gonna see why this is your challenge when we clarify for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Aries, you have the Three of Wands, the Emperor, and you have the Empress. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that there was a very strong connection that you had here in the past, almost to the point where you may have felt like this person was truly the one for you. Many of you decided to move on with this person, move forward to the next milestone in the past. You could have got married, maybe had a child here in the past. Uh, you just simply moved forward with your, your life here. Now, if this is not about a relationship, this is about you encountering some sort of situation in your life where it was very balanced and it allowed you to move forward here in the past. We're gonna clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Six of Wands, you have the Judgment, and you have the Six of Pentacles. So in the present moment, I really do get a sense here that you could be coming across as somebody who is very successful. Things are working out very well for you. You're becoming uh, recognized for something here, possibly. Now, if this is not you, it could be somebody that you're attracting, could be a Leo here uh, in the present moment. I'm also getting a Scorpio or a Virgo, okay? Someone here is really generous as well in the present moment, and uh, we're gonna see who this is and what this is all about for you when we clarify. In the near future, you have the Page of Wands, you have the Page of Cups, and you have the Seven of Wands. So it looks like for you in the near future, there's definitely a new direction that you're moving into. You could be planning to move into a new direction. I do get a lot of people here in the near future want your attention, they want your energy, they want your time. There's one particular person that's coming towards you here in the near future, and we're gonna talk about that and get more information uh, about that for you in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Tower, you have the Eight of swords. You have the five of wands, you have the two of wands, and you have the three of swords with the nine of wands. So what you don't see coming is the fact that for many of you, you're still upset over something here that affected you on a very deep level. You've been trying to get over the situation for quite some time. There is going to be a choice or a decision about this situation that really caused you a lot of pain that you may need to decide on. And that's whether or not maybe to stay or go or whether or not maybe to um, choose your own path. There's something here in terms of what you don't see coming Aries about choosing your own path, right? What works, what is gonna work for you? What is good for you? There's definitely something here about a tower moment or some sort of conflict. And I do get a sense here that for many of you, what you don't see coming is the fact that Certain situations in your life that are not stable right now may need your attention, okay? They may need your attention because for many of you, like I said, you're still not over something here that affected you on a very deep level, okay? You're still getting over it and this is about you maybe needing to rebuild certain aspects uh, within your life differently, okay? So we're gonna see how this ties into your reading as we go. So let's get into your reading, let's start clarifying. Okay, let's clarify the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is clarified by the Hangman. You have the Two of Cups and you have the Star. 
So your biggest challenge here, Aries, has a lot to do with the fact that a relationship that you're involved in or one that may be coming into your life has been very stagnant. Something here has either not been moving forward the way that you want it to, but there is a potential here for that to happen. Now, the challenge here has a lot to do with you looking at things from a different perspective, maybe looking at relationships from a different perspective, the way you maybe live with this person or how you interact with this person. One of the reasons why this situation is not moving forward the way that you want it to is because there really isn't a clear vision of the future. So you may want something now, or you may want something within a relationship to develop, but do you have an idea of how that idea that you have about this relationship is going to be in the future? So this is about having a vision for the future, not only just having a vision of what you need now and what is important to you now, but what do you see happening in the future with this connection? Okay. So this is equi equivalent to, you know, if you just started dating this person, if you're already in a relationship with this person, then again, what is the idea or what is the vision for the future? And this is something that spirit is asking you to look at from multiple different perspectives before taking action, because that may be what's required to overcome this challenge that you're facing. Okay. So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the three of wands. So the three of wands is clarified by you have the ace of wands, you have the knight of wands and you have the page of cups. So I do feel here in the recent past that there was a lot of this inconsistency that was happening between you and a specific person that you were dealing with. Some of you were dealing with somebody here in the past who was a little bit immature. Okay. They could have been younger than you here in the past. It looks like there was an opportunity Aries in the past for you to have some sort of new beginning with this person, even though there was a lot of inconsistencies here in the past. And it started to become clear that you and this person were not on the same page in the recent past. Tell me more about the emperor for Aries in the recent past. So the emperor is clarified by the seven of cups. You have the moon and you have the wheel of fortune. So in the recent past, it looks like there was a lot of confusion in connection to a situation that at one point looked very abundant. It looked there look, it looked like there was a huge opportunity here in the past for stability because of the wheel of fortune being here. But the moon is also here in the past. The moon is also here in the past, which is indicating to me that there was a lack of clarity. There was a lack of really truly knowing what or how this was going to develop in the past. And this is very much connected to a lover that you were involved with here in the past. Let's clarify the empress. So the Empress is clarified by the Knight of Cups. You have the Five of Pentacles and you have the Two of Wands. So in the recent past, it looks like for many of you, there was this possibility, a water sign that you were dealing with, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting a Taurus here. Uh, I'm also getting maybe um, a Sagittarius Leo. So in the recent past, it looks like somebody here left. Okay, you either left this person or they left you. And the reason why is because you and this person had different goals, different paths, different directions to take. Um, so even though this person did did offer love to you. I, I do get a sense here. The love was inconsistent. You were inconsistent with this person. And it just became more and more clear that you and this person were not on the same path. Okay. So this is what I see happened in the past. Now in the present moment, uh, you have the six of wands. So there is this strong energy here of re recognition, success, being recognized for something great that you've done. Tell me more about the six of wands. What is the important message for Aries in the present moment? So the six of wands is clarified by the three of swords. You have the sun and the six of wands. So even though you may be someone who is very successful, things are looking great for you. You're being recognized for something amazing and great that you've done. A lot of you don't want to be alone anymore. Okay. And this has been very evident since we had the solar eclipse in Libra on October 14th. So this is going to take six months, right? To actually manifest and happen for all of us to see. So for you, I do strongly feel that this solar eclipse that recently happened over the next, you know, few months, 
particularly this month that we're moving into, uh, it's going to affect you in a way where you're still in a place of needing to heal. You're still in this place of still needing to work through the pain and trauma that maybe you experienced here in the past. Okay. And again, just because you're successful and you know, things are going great and amazing, it may not be enough for you. You may still feel like, oh, I need to work on myself or, oh, I still need to get over this pain that I've been feeling in connection to the situation from my past. And this is what your challenge is all about with the star. This is about you recognizing what has really caused you pain, what has created this debilitation within you so that you can move beyond it and move forward. And this has a lot to do with your relationships. And even if they're not romantic relationships, they can be platonic relationships that, you know, you're still working through some sort of trauma and pain that's connected to this. Okay. And a lot of us are doing this now because of what is taking place right now. Okay. In the universe. So let's clarify the judgment. What is coming to your attention Aries in the present moment? Let's see. So the judgment is clarified by the three of wands. You have the five of swords and you have the world. So in the present moment, what is actually closing out for you, which is creating some sort of new cycle. And by the way, this is happening in your 12th house because Saturn just recently went direct on the first degree of Pisces, which means that you are at the tail end of a major cycle that's coming to an end in your life. It is starting to slowly culminate and close out, but there's something that is starting new here. Okay. But it's taking time. Now, what a lot of you are realizing in the present moment is there's no point in arguing with someone. There's no point in being in a power struggle with someone. There's no point in trying to uh, one up this person, or there's no point in trying to guide this person or tell this person what to do, because the truth here is all it leads to is power struggles, conflict issues, right? So in the present moment, what you are coming to a realization about with the judgment here is, is that it's time for you to move forward to the next milestone. And this is what I've been talking to you about when it came to Pisces on the first degree in your 12th house. Now, if you're rising Aries, this is going to resonate more than if you are, let's say another rising sign and you're an Aries. Okay. So you're coming to a realization that there's still a lot of inner work that needs to be done, healing, resting, recouping your energy to maintain the success, because there's something here that you're very good at. You're very successful at doing whatever it is that you do, but in order to maintain the success and recognition, you also have to take care of yourself. And this is something that you forget. At, right Aries is you forget that sometimes you come across as a person who's very selfish but it's actually you taking care of yourself and that is your mission in this life being born as an Aries you are learning independence how to stand on your own two feet okay now let's clarify the six of pentacles what's going on with the six of pentacles what does Aries need to know So the six of pentacles is clarified by the judgment. You have the four of swords and you have the eight of wands. So it looks like for you in the present moment, there's very important communication that's coming in from somebody who's being very generous with you. Someone here is giving to you or being very generous with you, but don't be fooled. The generosity that's coming from this person isn't the only thing that they're offering. They're also helping you to realize ways that you can heal. And they're directly either communicating this with you or they're communicating in some way, shape or form. Now, if this is about someone that you've had issues with for quite some time, there may be some sort of opportunity where this person becomes generous with you, or they may give to you in order to rectify the situation. Cause there's something here that you're still heard about that may need to still be resolved. And you're getting important messages, communication. There may even be angel numbers that you're seeing. Okay. You may look at the clock and see, I don't know, 11, 11, or you may see three, three, three. You may see some sort of important numbers that are trying to get your attention about what it's going to take for you to heal. Because the healing process is going to be super important for you, especially now uh, with the sun being in Scorpio. Once the sun enters into Sagittarius, it's go time for the fire signs. So you want to make sure that you're working on that so that when new opportunities come in, you're able to move forward. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for you in the present moment. Now let's talk about the near future. Let's clarify the page of wands.
So the Page of Wands is clarified by the Empress. You have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So whatever new direction it is that you're moving into, it's going to be very prosperous for you because what I'm seeing with the Page of Wands, especially with the Empress, I'm really strongly getting there is um, something here about a lot of love, a lot of nurturing. So you could be in the near future moving into a completely new direction, completely new path that you're taking. And if this is about your finances, there's something that you start to do that's new in the near future that is going to lead to a lot of abundance for you, a lot of financial abundance and a lot of happiness that's coming in. Okay. Some of you are attracting maybe, um, a Pisces here in the near future. I'm getting a Virgo. I'm also getting possibly a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Taurus in the near future. Okay. And this could be just simply someone you're attracting. Now let's talk about the page of cups in the near future for Aries. What is it that they need to know? So the page of cups is clarified by the two of wands. You have the 10 of pentacles and you have the king of pentacles. So it looks like for you in the near future, there's definitely somebody new that's coming in here. Okay. Um, this new person that's coming in, they could be a Pisces. I'm getting, I'm getting a Capricorn or a Libra here in the near future. Now, one of the things that you may not realize is that whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they have an offer for you, okay? There's a financial um, opportunity here for you in the near future, but you may not be open to it because you may be closed off with the two of swords here. Some of you have to keep one, one important thing in mind is you may be somebody who's very busy. You have zero time for anybody. But during the next few weeks, there's important people that are coming into your life and they're going to make offers to you. Make sure that whoever's coming into your life or whoever's entertaining majority of your time is somebody who is actually worthy of your time. Because I see in the near future, a lot of people want your attention and not all of them, not all of these opportunities you may have time for, okay? So there may be a choice or a decision when it comes to who you decide to move forward with because so many opportunities or offers are coming in. And some of these offers or opportunities that are coming in for you, Aries, are one that are going to help rebuild your life and it's going to help you come out of this place of inner conflict because there's been a lot of inner conflict connected to your life and how you're going to go about rebuilding it this is about reevaluating the path that you're moving towards and that you're moving on and also recognizing that self-care and healing is going to be really important for you over the next few weeks okay so let's uh get some advice for you and let's see what's the advice Okay, so the advice for you is the Queen of Wands, you have the Two of Pentacles, and you have the Four of Pentacles. So your biggest piece of advice here is to recognize what is worth holding on to. There's gonna be certain things in your life where they may not be serving your purpose, they may not be in alignment with your path and what it is that you're trying to achieve. So in order to get clear on exactly what it is that you want in life and how to move towards that, whether that be love, money, security, success, recognition, whatever it is that you're seeking, it's important that you make room for it because a lot of you over the next few weeks, I see you being very busy. You may not have time for everybody. So just make sure that you're choosing the things that are super important to you and that are worth holding on to so that you don't miss out Okay, on bigger and better opportunities to possibly expand. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.